What's up, guys? I mean, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three here. And I'm just going to be showing you my Cubs cards. So, let's get started. First card is Ryan Sandberg. Another Ryan Sandberg. A Greg Maddox card. Andre Dawson. Derek Lee. What if we weren't ranked number one in the world? Jack Jones. There were no Mia, no Brandy, no legends to live up to. And thousands of little girls didn't look up to us. What if for the first time Aramis Ramirez? Paul Essenmacher. I live, love, and dream soccer. But my kids are my life. FRS gives me that sustained energy and focus throughout the day. Go to FRS.com to get a free 10 day trial and find stores near you selling FRS. Find your fuel at FRS.com. Do. Just two simple letters. But a million and one imperatives. Kevin Blankenship. The expectation of greatness. Which is why we don't just make technology. We make two machines. Superpowered creation engines that make things happen. Lenovo. Alright guys, and just the cards fell and I'm trying to get them all organized again. So just bear with me for a second. US Men's National Team qualifiers on the road to World Cup Drew Hall. Soccer's biggest events are on ESPN. Well, I basically started noticing my hair loss a couple years ago, so I started using Rogaine Foam. Only Rogaine Foam is shown to regrow hair in 85% of guys. It's just brought about a lot of problems. Uh, okay, you got that. Juan Cruz. Whatever happened to conversation? I mean, when was the last time you said to a friend, hey, Let's go for a drink. I really want to text with you. Eighteen hundred tequila. Munching black back, about one hundred and fifty miles from our base here in Frankfurt. The Another Ryan Sandberg. The early lead. France came back early in the second half, and then two late strikes from the U.S. and a three-one victory. He was my favorite player on the Cubs, but I'm a White Sox fan, so. Mike Belecki. Well, I think despite being outplayed the first half, um, they came out. The substitution made huge and immediate impacts. I think they both came in and played with Flair, settled down the midfield. And uh, the second goal, no one on that field wanted it more than Abby Wambach. And, uh, you know, I've always said she can single-handedly change a game. And she not only changes it with her scoring prowess, but she Bro, changes Valdez. it with And with that goal, basically told her team, we are not leaving this field without a victory. You start to feel the force of will. It was a set piece. It was a corner kick. Abby Wambach scoring in her third consecutive match. Here it is. Happened in the 79th minute. What's so great about this is that Lauren Cheney puts it only in the space that Abby Wambach can win it. Alex Morgan kind of backs Greg Maddox. And look at Abby come through that. She actually crashes into the post. That's how tough she is. And, and her defender wanted no piece of that. She just stayed right behind her. That's so awesome. The third consecutive game. Cheney on the corner kick, as we said now. And by the way, ties your old teammate, Michelle Akers. 12 World Cup. Mike Harkey. Michelle may or may not be watching that game at all tonight, you think? Well, I, I sure hope she is, um, because I know she's inspired Abby, and you see that kind of fearlessness that Michelle played with. And, and she, as Brandy said, she basically 
put us on her back and she would will us to victory just like Abby does for her team. Well, years later, you get, again, something is building. And certainly the United States knows they build towards a, a match on Sunday. Let's take a look all the way back early on. Carrie United Wood. States, we talked about the evening. You, I believe you made the point pregame, did you not? Come out early pressure and it paid off with a goal. The team of the ninth minute. Heather O'Reilly utilizing her speed and Lauren Cheney capitalizing. So the ball comes from the center of midfield out to the wide back and, and Coach Lloyd backfields it to Heather O'Reilly and she does what she loves, gets around the outside and plays a great ball on the ground between the defender and the goalkeeper. And all Lauren's trying to do is get in front of her defender, which she does, and just redirect the ball. You're not you're not trying to take a huge swing, swing. just redirect it onto the face of the goal and goalkeeper doesn't have any chance. We finally saw that whistle after several minutes of stoppage. Time. Mark Grace. Ow. Absolutely elation and joy, but there, there was a, a, a deep-seated fatigue there. I think you could read some faces and bodies. They've been working very hard. These last two games were not easy, and you heard Abby Wambach say, this was a good French team that we beat today, and we had to work extremely hard. And they know that, and they appreciate that. And the fact that they could will themselves to this victory over a team that was literally He's possessing clip. the ball around them speaks volumes about the character of this team. Lauren Cheney, the moments after this victory, the semifinal Heath victory. Heath Cliff Slocum. Sorry, guys. Lauren, first off, how's it feel to be one win from the World Cup? This is such an awesome feeling. Um, we're going to the World Cup final, obviously my first World Cup final, but these girls, we fought back from everything. We're resilient, and I'm excited. How did you moving to center midfield change this game? I think out, when I was at outside mid, I wasn't touching the ball too much, and we were struggling in the midfield. So when I went in, I knew I just had to keep it, and I kept the ball, and I think that helped us a little bit. Kurt Wilkerson. Abby Wambach scores the big goal. What is it about her that she's always in the right place at the right time? Not Dwight only Smith. Is she in the right place at the right time, but she has more heart than anybody that I've ever played with, and I know that in the last minute she's going to get it done. Bob Dernier. And again, you hear that description of Abby Wambach. Joe Girardi. I've uh, said it from the beginning. Abby Wambach is a winner. She's a champion in spirit. And also, you know, like Michelle Akers, she would go out to practice and everything was about details. No stone left unturned. Let's get it done the right way. And that's why Reed that's Johnson. Abby Wambach plays. It, exactly. And she just doesn't do it in games. Every single day in practice, this is the way she plays. She Andre Dawson. Lifting up the team. Sunday, the miraculous, beyond fictional finish against Brazil. 122nd minute, and today, oh. the go ahead goal in the second half. Man, you'll be busy with music. Glenn Allen Hill. W.com. Also, interviews upcoming with uh, A Rod, Amy Rodriguez, and Tobin Heath, Monica Gonzalez, World Cup Confidential. Neil Brian Terrio. Talk about the USA advancing to the World Cup Championship final. They will play the winner. Ah, of Japan. Derek Lee. And Sweden. They brought that camera down to play with the players for a moment. They call out the Spider Cam. The Swedes are ready. They're right behind us. Be Jerry Harrison Jr. Great to be for everyone. Matt Merton. Todd Walker. Flash card, Scott Erie. So thank you for watching. Sorry I was eating, but I haven't had breakfast or lunch. So I thought I could eat just much while do, eat while doing the video. So please subscribe, comment. And that's really about it. So thank you for watching and goodbye.